this fourth part of the video we would like to have a look how we measure the edema. Measuring edema we can follow up it so we can see if it is decreasing or not. I want to show you as well how you can detect if it is lymph edema or just a venous edema. And I would like to show you how you can bandage it to help the treatment. So let's start with measuring the edema. Before working on the edema we take some measurements. It's just a normal tailor measurement. You go to the highest part of the foot and you measure it without pulling. Just keep it close and you measure take it. Another good point is here just around above the malleoli. So you have the malleoli just above. Then you can take a 90 degrees position. You touch where is the biggest part of the lower limb and there where you can feel there you measure it. Just put it there where is the biggest circumference and there you measure it. Another good part is here in the fold of the knee, there where you flex the knee and you measure it here. The last part, take 10 centimeters, touch the kneecap and on the top part of the kneecap you measure 10 centimeters up. So you will find this spot again and I say just flex your knee a little bit come up so I'm come over and you can come down again let it go so 10 centimeters distance of the kneecap I will measure here so these measurements we are doing on the beginning of the treatment and they may be after each day you can do it again and you will see if the edema is subsiding or not or if it is maybe more shifting below but less shifting above. It can give you just a little bit of an idea how proceeding has to be altered. Now how can I identify which type of edema is it? It's normally easy. You just pressure with your finger if there remains a ditch, it's liquid in the tissue, it's lymph edema. If you have a swelling, and if you compare with the other leg, it's swollen, you push in, but there is no ditch, then we know it's a venous edema. Lymph edema needs this very soft treatment. With an oedemus edema, we can work a little bit more intensive. But more or less, the concepts are the same. Now for bandaging. In oedema treatment like deep venous oedema, it is helpful to bandage it for 24 hours. Not too strong, but not too soft. It will help to subside the oedema. It will give a bit of compression, and when there is compression on the leg, the blood will run more quickly. So together with the medicine, who make the blood more fluid, and this gentle compression and just a simple type of walking you will prevent that this deep venous thrombosis will become huge or will get worse. With lymph edema you can bandage them as well gently but very regularly. I want to show you now. Miss Sophia can help me. I'm starting on the foot here. Let the toes free so that they can move. Now you see, half of the bandage should cover the bandage from before. We shall have a little bit more pressure down and as higher you come up, as less pressure you apply. Now we are up here. I'm used 
to ask the patient to put this by himself so patient can feel if it is sticky or not. Can you come up please? And put it by yourself. We don't want to harm. If it is huge edema, just take a tape to fix it. Now we are coming with the next bandage. We are just going on. You see? Half. Being up here, we should not tie more. Remember, down on the foot, less ten uh, more tension as up here. Now I give you another one, and you can fix. Now we're starting again. You can see the bandage has come like this. Now we have to come like this. There we go on. Okay. So we arrived to well. We used four bandages. Down on the foot there is more pressure as up here. Patient fix it by himself so we are sure that they are not picking and we teach the patient to do it by themselves. I can assess, feel how is the pressure. If I should feel maybe that there is like a bulge coming out maybe there is more pressure here I have to undo it again and we try but don't worry if you are a beginner you won't succeed immediately perfect but if it is quite good be happy time by time when you do it again it will become better patient can walk with this bandage and they can elevate the leg on pillows with this bandage they can even do a little bit movements but not too much otherwise it comes off now let's look, when we take off, we do assessment. Look at the edema when you take off the bandages. The edema will show you if the bandage was perfect, if it was quite good, if it was okay, or if the bandage was somehow irregular. It's a good work for the patient to roll the bandages. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss Sophia. Another one. Now, when you have opened the bandages, you will see where are the signs. If you have many signs and there are somehow cushions, 
then you know the bandage was not from regular pressure. Or if you have signs up here and here you don't have it, probably you were tying too much up here. So just remember, you can measure the edema, you will see, and then you do it again. And as I said, don't worry if you don't succeed in the first go, you will learn it by time to time you do it. It needs practice to do it, that you have more pressure down, and as more you come up, the pressure is easing off, not too much, but a little bit. So the push is up here. We never should strangle up here, otherwise the edema is increasing.